of this year in the short seven months that we've got to the next general election I believe despite not being an SNP member despite not being a nationalist I am the co-convener of solidarity of a socialist party we and the Greens and everyone else who played a role in the independence campaign would have the right to stand in seven months time at the general election there's no doubt about that but I think it's time to put our politics, our own politics to the side in order to unite the yes vote in next May. If that means, if that means me voting for a political party that I'm not a member of, if that means me voting for a political party that I might disagree with, because I don't want to cut corporation taxes. I don't want to be a member of NATO. I don't want to share sterling. But let's face reality here. I don't want in seven months time to turn around and say, oh, that was no bad. The socialists got a few thousand votes but the Red Tories get re-elected. I want to say, I want to say, in seven months time, Scotland isn't just free of the blue Tories. We're not just free of the yellow Tories. We're free from the Red Tories as well. We brothers and sisters, let's face it, I remember and I'm going to apologise to the children here, I'm going to swear in a wee minute here, I remember Thatcher, I know we shouldn't have used language like that in front of the children, Thatcher, I remember Thatcher said, that if Scotland wanted independence, all they had to do was send a majority of MPs to Westminster who supported independence. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, in seven months time, if we can unite the 1.6 million and more and more because they've realised that they were wrong to believe the promises of the No campaign. If we can unite that 1.6 million votes, we could send a majority of the 59 MPs to Westminster. And we constitutionally could declare independence.